Hi people, uh, today I want to show you some of the stuff that I wish I learned much much sooner. Uh, it's something that would just make my life much more easier. So if, if you press Ctrl and Shift and you'll get this select uh, rectangle and it's a cool thing because you can select one of the parts of your model and everything else is gonna get hidden. Uh, that's that's really great thing for example if I need to sculpt something on this area and uh, this hand is in my way so I will just hide part of my model and then I will be able to do all the details here and then when I'm when I'm done with it I'm just gonna select everything again and bam it's done so that's cool, but I want to show you something else. If you hold Ctrl and Shift and you click here, you will have all of these options. And for now, we're gonna focus only on these few. Uh, they're kind of the same, but uh, they do stop in in different way. So first, we're gonna go with trim rectangle and. Now if I hold Ctrl and Shift, this icon will appear and if I select half of my model and release it, that half is gonna get deleted. So I can do stuff like that, like that and every time whatever I select is gonna get deleted. So that's a pretty neat feature. Also if I hold Ctrl and Shift and I drag something, I can always press space and then I can drag whatever I, I've made some kind of selection wherever I want so when I release space and I release both keys it's gonna get cutted but you can see that now this thing is happening and I'm not no expert about uh, how how software is connecting all the polygons all the dots I guess, I guess He's finding the easiest way, he's not, uh, he's keeping only the outside shape, but not the inside, and, and this is what happens. So if I go here and I pick, let's say, Trim Lasso, again, it's gonna do the same thing. So whatever I select, it's gonna cut it like, like that. So I can quickly trim fat, whatever I need. And the third one is this one. Is trim curve and if I draw a straight line whatever is shaded uh, you have this sh um, shadow under the line that part is gonna get cut and it's doing the same thing like uh, the previous two tools but also if I hold those two keys and I start dragging line and then I press alt I will be able to make curvature and then I can release Alt, then I can press it one more time if I want and I can go in the other way. So I can do some really weird and nice cuts. Again, Control Shift. Now if I pick any of these, basically they're doing the same thing, like I said, but in a different way. And I'm gonna click on this slice curve and I'm gonna drag my line and nothing happened. But if I go into wireframe, you will see that whenever I drag the line, it's gonna make parts with a different color. Basically, what this tool does, he's cutting and doing polygroups. So, if I do this, uh, now I can go into split and do the group split, okay. Now I have two sub tools. But if I look at each of those, I will see that inside is non existent. So that means that uh, this object right now uh, has only faces from one side but not from the other. And to fix that, I need to go into geometry, modify topology, and click on close holes. So, same thing I need to go, I need to do for the other sub tool. 
again close hole and that has fixed my problem but you can see that though it, it just has a lot of steps so instead of that there's another option and that's the option that I was telling you at the beginning that I really wish I knew at the beginning so again if I do split like that option that I can do is I can go into geometry and I can pick Dynamesh I'm gonna increase the resolution a little bit and I'm gonna click groups let me quickly go out of wireframe and now I'm gonna click Dynamesh and you can see that something has actually happened here but this is still only one sub tool now if I go to group split press OK I have two sub tools but now they have close holes and everything looks nice so th this is how I slice most of the of the stuff now and uh, it's it's really cool feature uh, it has a limitation for example if I do something like this and then I decide to do another cut here I can repeat the whole process so I'm gonna go into Dynamesh increase resolution click groups and again I have three separated parts but if I look at each of those I will see that first one has a really nice edge by the way I'm, I'm separating everything by holding control and shift and just clicking on one of the parts it's still one group I didn't do the separation but I can see past each of these you can again see that this kind of stuff happens again I'm really no expert I don't know why it's connecting dots like like that if someone know uh, please write that in the comment uh, and basically the the easier way how to fix that is by slicing parts in a different way so I'm gonna do slice and then I'm gonna hit groups dynamesh and then I'm gonna do another slice and again I'm gonna dy dynamesh it so because now it's turned on I, I can just click on control and do the rectangle and now if, if you look at each of these you'll see that every object has a nice cut it's it's kind of confusing sometimes when you are actually not doing a lot of stuff with it but um, when you start doing it, it it will make much more sense and like I said you can make really nice cuts like that uh, especially if you're doing something for 3d printing like multi-materials or you just want to do the separation you can do it that way and it looks really nice that's it for today uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I really hope I'm gonna see you next time. Until then, bye bye.